This is cycle two, week 21. And this is your teacher, my mom. Okay, hope you like it. I'm gonna be in it, bye. All right, this is week 21. We're gonna start with our history sentence. It says, tell me about the end of the Cold War. In the 1980s, British Prime Minister, so drink your tea, Margaret Thatcher, so you have like you're thatching a roof, Margaret Thatcher, and US President Ronald Reagan, here's your Reagan, and with the music, it makes sense to do this movement to it. Work together to end the Cold War, lessen mm -hmm. big government, yes. and strengthen the conservative movement. And you're going to want to move around with this song whenever it starts playing. So that was our history motions right there. Geography. This comes from Randa Clay. And Randa Clay made this cute little picture of Central America, Guatemala, Belize, El Salvador, Honduras, Nicaragua. So this is Nick the Elf. So Guido believes that Nick the Elf is cool with his Honduras hat and silver bell and his I love Costa Rica shirt and Panama pants. So you have Guido, this is Guatemala, believes, Belize, Nick the Elf, Nicaragua, is cool. With his Honduras hat, there's his little hat right there, his silver bell, Salvador, his I Love Costa Rica shirt, there's his I Love Costa Rica shirt, and his Panama pants. Panama pants. He's pretty cool, right? So that's by Randa Clay on Facebook. So, hey, that was our geography. Okay, English. A conjunction is a word used to connect words, phrases, or clauses together. So I had five kiddos um, come up to the front, and the first one just held words. Um, the second one, I actually taped conjunction onto their shirt. Third one, held phrases. Fourth one, taped conjunction onto their shirt. And the fifth one held the word clauses. So whenever we go through, um, we have them all lined up like that in, a, in order. So we said. That one, this is awesome. <laughs> you're okay. So we said that a conjunction Whee! is a word used to connect words, hold up words, phrases, hold up phrases. And clauses, hold up clauses, together. And at that together, the conjunctions joined arms with everybody else to kind of connect everybody. So that was our English. Okay. Latin was a review. So with reviews, I don't really go through the whole entire song too long. I don't really make them um, work on pronunciation um, as much as the first time through because we've already done that. So this is our Latin first conjugation, pluperfect. We're going to have a little bit of fun with it. I actually do not have a specific way to remember the pluperfect tense, okay? So it's just the one that does not have a special little way to remember it. Um, and we just went ahead for review. For review, I went ahead and told the kids they're gonna partner up and they're gonna throw a wad of paper back and forth between them. Their goal, since they're seven and throwing the ball around has not worked so far, um, their goal was to go ahead and see which team could actually keep the water paper from falling to the ground. It kind of worked. It was better than throwing the ball just all over the, the whole room and everything. So it kind of worked. Okay. You can sing so. it in different voices. Yes, you can. Or you can sing it in different voices. So we would just throw it back and forth. So Aram, Eris, Erat, Aramis, Eritus, Arant. And then first conjugation. Blue, perfect tense. My ball, my ball. Okay, and that was Latin. Let's go on to science. This is the third law of thermodynamics. We went ahead and sang this to the tune of Radioactive um, by Imagine Dragons. And the person that came up with this was Debbie Williams. So thank you, Debbie Williams. She has an amazing voice on her video. Yeah, she does. So, <laughs> so we're gonna try this. Um, I did remind the children that if you're gonna do memory of masters, you have to actually um, say it back in the form of a question. So what is the third law of thermodynamics? The third law of thermodynamics um, is, is it is impossible to reach the state of absolute zero temperature. Our song doesn't have the repeat that phrase in there. 
So just remind them if they're going for memory masters, they still have to have that phrase, so they have to answer the question. So here it goes. It goes, um, what is the third law? What is the third law? Thermodynamics, thermodynamics. What is the third law? What is the third law? Thermodynamics, thermodynamics. It is impossible to reach a state of absolute zero temperature. What is the third law? What is the third law? Thermodynamics, thermodynamics. It is impossible to reach the state of absolute zero temperature. And that is it sounds science. Like, it sounds like the song from Hero 6. It is. Okay. Oh. <laughs> All right, or same group. Okay, um, math. For math, I went ahead and made a whole bunch of puzzle pieces. Okay. Um, just cut them all up. This was more of, we're going to present it in class. This is for you to work on at home um, because I think this is the most effective way to go ahead and work on it independently at home. I went ahead and cut it up to a lot of little pieces. A lot of little. So, hold on. Please get off the table, okay? You're going to make everything shake. Okay. So, the associative law for addition is, open parentheses, A plus... B, closing parentheses, plus C equals A plus, opening parentheses, B plus C, closing parentheses. Okay. And then the associative law for multiplication, we just went okay. ahead and flipped out. You kick this guy out. Hiya! Our addition for our multiplication. Take those out. And um, we just did the associative law for multiplication is open parentheses, A, A times B. C closing parentheses, times C equals A times opening parentheses, B times C. And like I said, there's a whole bunch of puzzle pieces. I just cut them all out into little tiny pieces. And this, this. And, and laid them all out and everything. Uh, during class, since uh, we were trying really hard to work with it, I had the kids lay it out just once and then point to it while we said it over and over again. So that was math. Okay. Um, we have our timeline, World War II and Franklin D. Roosevelt. World, World War II and Franklin D. D. Roosevelt. It's really hard to do the Franklin D. Roosevelt all right there, so I just do Franklin Roosevelt um, for the signs, Franklin D. Roosevelt. Stalin of the USSR, there's his mustache, and the Katyan Massacre, like you're hiding behind a wall and stabbing at things. And the Katyan Massacre. The United Nations formed, mm -hmm. so you're linking your two fingers. The Cold War, Gandhi, there's your G, and India's, yes. you point to the I middle of your that. forehead, um, independence, so there's your eyes, and go independence. Mm -hmm. Jewish, okay. there's your, your beard of the Jewish patriarchs. Jewish state, okay. there's a S and down, because that's state. Established. Mao, there's your oh. M, Mao, and communist, there's your communist fifth fist, victory in China. Um, this is the Chinese uh, shirt that they would have for those buttons, so Chinese victory, or communist victory in China. Um, I think that's everything. Our presidents, we did, um, hold on, Truman, Eisenhower, Kennedy, John Sun. So there's your J in your sun, like you're holding baby. Side. Okay, and so that was our new presidents that we added on because we're doing something a little different for that. I wanted to get that a little bit more in their heads. Okay, I think that's it. Thank you very much. Bye. Bye.